Hi guys, I am Angie Herder. I'm a certified personal trainer and certified nutritionist coming at you from Minnesota. Um, I am going to walk you through an at-home core workout today. Um, all you need, you don't have to have any equipment, but if you want to add in a little bit of equipment, um, three to five pound dumbbells is great for this workout. Um, or you can also do um, soup cans or um, or bottles of water. So you don't need, but you don't have to have any equipment. I have, these are three, pie, three pound um, dumbbells that I have. So with that being said, let's get to our workout doing core. So we're going to do a few different exercises here. Um, we're going to start out with standing up and then we're going to work down to the mat. So with that being said, <laughs> uh, okay, so you're going to start out with just a pelvic tuck. So you want to think of just, if I turn to the side, I'm going to bring my bottom in and tuck in. So tuck, really contracting the abs and release. Tuck and release. So contract the abs. Think about bringing your rib bone towards your hips and just release. So we're going to do, we're going to go through all of these exercises and we're going to do four rounds of 15 to 20 if you're feeling extra, like you're feeling really good and you want to challenge yourself, do four rounds of 25. Um, so tuck and release. If it helps, think about if you were laying down on your mat, you're going to do like a crunch. So crunch and release. Crunch and release. Crunch and release. So that's going to be your pelvic tuck. Um, second one that we're going to be doing with standing abs is... I like to either make like, bring my hands together here, or you can make a fist with a palm over it. So you're going to go side and side. So working those obliques. So think about bringing your rib bone towards your hip bone, rib towards your hip. So side, center, side, center. And bringing that elbow behind your hip. So side, center, side, center. All right. Then we're going to take it down to the mat for crunches. All right. So I got my notes here on my phone. So when you do a straight crunch, you want to think about bringing your chin towards the ceiling and just lower. Lift and lower. Eliminating the arch. Driving that belly button towards the floor every single time and lifting those shoulder blades. So lift and lower, lift and lower. Your next move that you're going to do um, is a hip opener with resistance crunch. So you're going to bring those feet together and as you lift, you're going to press those feet together, create some resistance, engage those glutes. And then relax. Crunch and relax. Lift and relax. Chin towards the ceiling and relax. So this is a hip opener but with the resistance of the crunch. All right, so third, or the next move, that's more than third. So is you're going to grab one of your dumbbells, laying flat on the ground. You're going to bring your arms straight up. So lock it out. And you're just going to slowly roll up, reaching that arm straight up, and then you're going to tuck and slowly lower down. So it's a roll up. Try to keep those heels on the ground, and then slowly lower down. Lift and tuck and roll. So once you're done with one side, you can move on over to the other side. Um, all right, for your next move, then you have Russian twist. So you can either use one of your dumbbells or both of your dumbbells. You want your heels lightly to the ground, and you're just going to rotate side to side. Now, I typically, when I count this, I count one, two, three. So it's up to you. This is your workout. If you want to advance it, bring your feet to a tabletop position, going side to side. 
trying to have as little amount of swivel in your hips as possible. All right, so those are Russian twists. Next, we're going to have a chest fly with a sit-up. So with your dumbbells, you're going to go chest fly and straight up. Roll back down, chest fly, and straight up. Chest fly, straight up. Okay, then moving on, we're going to bring our feet around and you're going to do a plank frontal raise. So two options here. You can either be on your knees. Remember to bring your hips down. So you want straight alignment from your ear to your shoulder to your hip down to your knees. And you're just going to lift. Bringing that arm so that it's straight parallel to the ground or even with your shoulder. So lift. If you'd like to advance this, come on up to plank position. Lift. 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 So there's your two different options there. From here, we're going to go back around, bringing your feet around, and we're going to do a cross punch. So you're going to come and you're going to sit up, cross punch. Sit up, punch. Rotating every single time. You sit up, cross punch. Doesn't need to be with a lot of force. It's more about the rotation than anything. So that is your cross punch. Then with one of the weights, or you can do both, I guess, um, is you're going to extend out and in, out and in. So if you did it with one weight, you can hold the dumbbell at both ends, out and in. And then our final move is with your dumbbells here, you can hold them at just up towards your head. You're going to lift up and lower. Lift those hips up and slowly lower. Up and slowly lower. So there you have it. <laughs> it's your job to be your own personal trainer. I gave you all the moves, so you decide whether you're going to do three or four sets, or if you're going to do um, 15, 20, or 25. But whatever you decide to set for your workouts, um, I just encourage you, set that limit and commit to it. Stick with it, even when you're like, oh my gosh, I just want to be done, I want to quit. Um, Really commit to it before you even start your workout. Don't get halfway into your workout or a quarter into your workout and then be like, I'm going to see how I feel today. So <laughs> if you've heard me on any of my stories before, I went um, to a conference not too long ago and Steve Weatherford, he's, um, he was an NFL punter. He um, told us the difference between a pro and an amateur and the amateur wakes up every morning and does a body scan analysis and does decides what they're going to do based upon how they feel and doesn't at all have any sort of commitment or relationship to the commitment. The pro wakes up and says, I have a commitment, I have goals, and I'm going to crush them. Rather than, well, you know, like, I feel a little bit off today, and kind of whatever, the pro, like, gets at it. So get after it. And make that commitment before your workout and say that you're going to do it. Um, and if it helps, send me a message, send a friend a message, write it down, but really commit to your goals. And even if it's just the goal of completing the workout and saying, doing what you said you were going to do. Um, so with that being said, if you like these videos, give me a thumbs up. Um, share it out with some friends or um, also if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would absolutely love to um, have you as part of my subscription. If there's any videos that you have ideas for, by all means, um, I would love to hear your ideas. Um, I take those to heart because it's my job um, and I take pride in being a servant leader to you guys and providing whatever it is that you are looking for. Um, 
And then also, if you are looking for any further help at all, I offer a free half hour call to anyone. So please reach out to me, send me a message, and let's set up a time. We can do um, a Zoom call, a face, um, like a FaceTime, or um, just I can give you a call over the phone and talk through your goals. Um, and then um, if you are interested at all, I do have Angie at Angie Herder on Instagram. There's lots of nutrition stuff over there and recipes. Um, you can also head on to AngieHerderCoaching.com. There's tons of freebies over there. If you're interested in messaging me, Angie at or Angie Herder Coaching at gmail.com. And lastly, um, if you're on Facebook, I am Angie Herder Coaching where you can send me a friend request, Angie Gerber. So thanks so much for listening, and I look forward to talking to you guys again.